Hey everybody, Sean Tierney here from theautomationschool.com. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to convert a Slick 500 program to a Micrologix program. Now, the first step is you have to open the program in RS Logix 500 because RS Logix Micro does not support uh, Slick 500 programs. So um, you can't do this with RS Logix Micro or uh, you know RS Logix Micro Lite. So now that I have RS Logix open, I'm going to go ahead and open a project I want to convert, and it's the demo project that comes with uh, RS Logix. It's uh, read-only, so I'm going to say yes, work with a copy. And here, let's take a look at the I.O. configuration, because this is going to come into play. You can see here it has an IA4, an IA8, and an OA8. So that's the existing I.O. in this Slick 500 project. All right, with that said, the first thing I'm going to do is save it with a new name. So we're going to convert this to a 1400. So I'm just going to replace the 500 with 1400. And uh, here you only can have eight characters, so I'll just make it 140. Uh, that's the processor name. So let's go ahead and save it. I like to save it first so I don't inadvertently write over my original program. Now with that said, we're going to go to control the properties here. And uh, we'll just change it to a Micrologix 1400. I'll use a Series A. And we'll click on OK. And we'll just accept the defaults. And now it's done, except we have some errors down here at the bottom. And there's really two major errors you're going to see, right? The first one is, hey, you, don't have a you haven't defined anything for slot 1. That's right. If we go to I.O. configuration, the I.O. was not imported. So there's no module in slot 1. Now, you could put a module in there. We'll do that for the sake of brevity right now. But you could also search and replace the addresses to make them uh, use the embedded I.O. in the 1400. But in our case, hey, let's just throw an IA8, an IA8, and an OA8. And uh, now we'll uh, verify the project, and all those errors are gone. So what's the other error, right? Well, you see right here, it's the OSR, OK? This is not the way the OSR works inside of the 1400. And the way you can fix that, it's super easy. Just double click on here, or you can search for a place and uh, type in ONS, press enter, and now that error is gone. And so now I can save this project, and I have a 1400 project I can download to my uh, Micrologix and uh, run. And of course, I have to rewire everything in the field, but that's how easy it is to uh, use RS Logix 500 to convert a 500 program to a Micrologix. Now, if you found this helpful, please give me a like and share it. And if you would like to support the show and help me make more of these videos, please pledge a dollar a month over at patreon.com forward slash automation. And if you have any questions for me, I've now moved all comments to theautomationforums.com, which I check every morning because I just couldn't make it to all 10 social media and websites uh, to answer questions. So if you have a question, feel free to ask me at the free forum, theautomationforums.com. And finally, if you know anybody who wants to learn everything they need to know to get started with the Micrologic series of controllers, have them check out theautomationschool.com where I have several different courses on different PLCs and HMIs. And with that, that's the end of this video. Until next time, peace.